Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to TS Dr. Ruzama binti Razman and fellow friends. Hi, my name is Muhammad Hafi bin Johan and this is our group presentation about mechanical and electrical system project and this is our group members. We are given tasks to complete the project about application of mechanical and electrical system in a building. First, for the introduction, what is mechanical? Mechanical system is a combination of mechanical component and services used to provide services in a building or structure. And what is electrical system? Electrical system is a collection of electrical component and devices that work together to provide power and control in a building or structure. And what is mechanical and electrical? Mechanical and electrical system are essential for the functionality, comfort and safety for of a building. Next, when choosing the correct mechanical ventilation system for a building or house, we should analyze on several factors, including the size of the space that need to be ventilated, the type of activities that will be taking place in the space, and the desired level of air quality. For mechanical ventilation system, we propose to use cooker hood and exhaust fan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. My name is Muhammad Yuslam Bin Muhammad Yusuf. In this part, I will share about why we choose this product to be installed in our project house. So, this product comes with a fire panel that functions as a grease trap and flows it into the oil cup for easy disposal. Furthermore, this product also has a magnetic lock to easily detach the rectifier panel for cleaning and save the hassle of loosening the mounting screws. This product also comes with touch sensor control which is extremely easy to use and, and indicate speed, light and delay timer. Moreover, the delay timer functions as a cooker hook will continue to extract the oily fumes and switch off automatically at the preset time, leaving a clean kitchen without the smoke of pungjan smell. In addition, this product also has an aluminium mesh filter to capture particles of grease, keeping the kitchen free of oily fumes and it can be easily taken out to wash and it is easy to open buffer filter for cleaning since there are no screws attached to it. Next, for exhaust fan, we choose Panasonic brand to be installed in our project house. So, the first product is FV70 CUM VBSH. This product comes with several features such as energy saving, quiet operation, compact and stylish, powerful, efficient and durable condenser motor, easy to install, easy to maintenance, it is suitable for bedroom, bathroom, living room and offices. It has a built-in safety thermal fuse. Okay, then for our second product, it is FV35TGU3WT. This product comes with features such as easy to maintenance, have a unique Q blade for low noise. It has a thermal, thermal safety fuse, advanced blade design, and easy to install. It is also suitable for bedroom, bathroom, TV room, and offices. To determine whether the product is suitable or not to be installed in certain places, we need to first determine the exchange rate. So, for toilet one, Bathroom 1, Toilet 2, Bathroom 2, and Kitchen We install FV70CUM VBSH Okay, first to calculate the action rate We must find the volume of space After we calculate the volume of space We find the air volume of the product From the product specification So, for this product The air volume is 50 CFM which is in minutes so 
the air generator formula need to use a Q in second so we time the Q with 60 to change it to seconds then we divide it with uh, vol uh, volume of space which is in feet cube then we get the air change rate for the space after that we assume the dark size for kuhu the calculation is also same as before but as I mentioned before the air volume must be in second so we convert the air volume first then we divide it with uh, space volume which is in feet cube then we get the air change rate for kitchen then we can assume the dark size next for living area we use SV25TGU3WT the calculation is also same as before for the third part is air conditioning system Choosing the best air conditioning system is important for several reasons. The most important thing surely for the comfort. A well-designed and properly installed air conditioning system can help to keep the indoor temperature and humidity at a comfortable level, which can improve the overall living or working condition. Do you know there are many types of air conditioning system in our market? Assalamualaikum and good day to my fellow friend and respected TS Dr. Rozaimah binti Razman. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nur Awati Fazika Benti Muhammad Rosli and my metric number is CF200084. In this presentation, I would like to concentrate on why choose Hisense air conditioner. Firstly, our project we are using 1.0 horsepower cooling for bedroom and 1.5 horsepower for living room. 1.0 and 1.5 horsepower should be sufficient for a standard room and living room. The model for the air conditioning is SRK. We choose Hisense air conditioner because Hisense inverter aircon are a great option for an efficient and affordable aircon unit. The range of price for 1.0 horsepower and 1.5 horsepower is only in range 795 ringgit until 1958 ringgit. Next, energy rating for Hisense 1.0 horsepower and 1.5 horsepower is 5 star. The star rating system essentially represents an electrical appliance energy efficiency. The number of stars reflect the effectiveness. A 5 star aircon performs much better than a 3 star aircon and functions optimally as it reduces energy consumption. It is also environmentally friendly and cools the room faster than a 3 star aircon. Other than that, the simple use of Hisan inverter aircon is another factor. They are a fantastic option for those who are unfamiliar with the world of aircon because they are very easy to set up and operate. The inverter is ideal for use in remote location or while traveling because it is portable and light. Lastly, Hisan's air conditioner has a long duration system. Hisan's air conditioner uses high quality materials such as 100% copper piping, blue fin and gold fin to ensure that product can last longer. That's all from me. I give the next slide to my friend. Thank you. Assalamualaikum to my fellow friends and our respected TS Dr. Ruzaimah Binti Razman. Let me firstly introduce myself. My name is Nurul Maizatun Najiha Binti Basirun and my matriculation number is CF2068. The main topic of my talk will be the air conditioning capacity. The required cooling capacity for a room air conditioner depends on the size of the room being cooled. Room air conditioner generally have cooling capacity that range from 5000 to 34000 BTU per hour. For effective air conditioning, proper size is essential. You want to feel more at ease during the sweltering summer if you purchase a room air conditioner with a higher capacity than is necessary. A room air conditioner that is too large for the space will operate less effectively and efficiently than a smaller, more appropriate size one. This causes the area to feel clammy and uncomfortable since an enormous unit will cool the room to the thermostat set point before sufficient dehumidification takes place. In comparison, 
to a huge unit that turns on and off too frequently, a tiny unit that runs continuously is more effective at dehumidifying and performs more efficiently. For our air conditioning capacity in master bedroom, the room area was 136 square feet and the BTU cooling capacity is 5000 BTU based on the standard. For the adjustment, we get 7000 BTU and the BTU requirement with the specification of air conditioner is 1 horsepower, while for the air circulation is 323.95 CFM. For the bedroom, the room area was 91 square feet and the BTU cooling capacity is 5000 BTU based on the standard. For the adjustment, we get 8000 BTU and the BTU requirement with the specification of air conditioner is 1 horsepower, while for the air circulation is 323.95 CFM. For the installation in the living room, the area was 262 square feet and the BTU cooling capacity is 7000 BTU. For the adjustment, we get 11,500 BTU and the BTU requirement with the specification of the air conditioner is 1.5 horsepower, while for the air circulation is 382.85 CFM. I will pass the time now to my friends. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mama Ari bin Sukifli and, and I will present about the electrical distribution system For the background studies, electrical power distribution is the final stage in the delivery of electric power It carries the electricity from transmission system to individual consumers And it divides by national grid measure It's the higher voltage electric power transmission network in Peninsula Malaysia It is operated and owned by the TNB by its transmission division Okay, we we'll go for the next part Next, in the terms of transmission system, as we know, more than 100,000 transmission substations in the peninsula Malaysia with a total installed capacity of 105.5 MW amperes. The 500 kW transmission system is the single largest transmission system to be ever developed in Malaysia. Next, for the power generation, power generation, power generation capacity connected to the Malaysian national grid is 22,000 MW. Maximum demand is 17,000 MW. As for April to 2016, according to Suranjaya Tenaga, and we divided into the 45% gas, 50 charcoal, hydro, and 0.6% for hydro. Furthermore, for the next part, power transmission system is divided into the distribution feeders. The distribution feeder, sometimes known as a feeder, is a three phase series of wire that emerges from a substitute circuit breaker and supply in design of the distribution region. Three phase, two phase, and single phase branch are generated as well as all and four are included. And for distribution transformers, this type of transformer that performs the last voltage transformation in the distribution grid. And lastly, for the distribution conductors, is a conductor to warm tappings are obtained for distribution to consumer whenever tapping is not at different location at distribution the current does not remain constant along its length moreover distributor conductors divide into two types that is primary distribution system is the part of ac distribution system which operate at voltage slightly higher than general utilization and the second type is secondary distribution system that include this range of voltage and which consumer utilize the electric energy operating voltage to the number of phase and required reliability of detected topology and configuration of the network okay how the electrical distribution system works in our project we choose the radial distribution as the method of distribution which has main board distribution at living room and sub distribution board at dining room as a result, the chief feature of radio distribution system is the electricity to flow in only one direction. The benefit of distribution system is that it's the simplest and has the lowest initial cost. That's all from me. Thank you. Last but not least, 
for our conclusion, it is important to ensure that the mechanical and electrical components of a project are well designed and compatible with each other. This includes proper sizing and placement of mechanical parts as well as ensuring that electrical connection and wiring are properly installed and protected. And it is also important to test the project to ensure that it is function as intended and all safety precautions has been taken. And finally, and it is the best experiences to work as a group, clearly communicate and collaborate with each other to make sure the project is successful. That's all from our group. Thank you.